friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a totally unedited recording of ephemeral specification of this hard brown cataract this is a really hard cataract with nuclear sclerosis of about grade 5 or even harder than that the main incision has been made this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and in this case I have made only one side port and now viscoelastic substance 2% SPMC is used to fill up the anterior chamber it is applied over the corneal epithelium and now capsulorexis is done the capsulorexis is done with this uterator forceps and it is a really a large rexis. Size of this rexis is going to be about 6.5 millimeter. When the cataract is very hard, don't bother about overlapping of the optic with the rim of anterior capsule just make a large round rexis of about 6 mm. Now hydro dissection is done, BSS is passed at multiple places, the nucleus is tapped, there should not be any fluid build up behind the nucleus. Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle into the anterior chamber. This is Oatly Cataract 3. The tip of the FECO needle goes into the anterior chamber with its bevel down and see the exposed part of the FECO needle. This much should be the exposed part in case of heart cataract. And now watch submarine chop. The teeth goes into the substance of the nucleus and just in front of the main incision goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator the chopper is used to divide the nucleus. And then it is rotated 180 degree few more skulls go to a deeper plane and divide the nucleus completely into two heminuclei. Each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments. See, the teeth goes through the substance of the heminucleus and it is chopped. From the very, very beginning, the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy is 85% in continuous mode. And each nuclear piece is being subdivided into two smaller pieces and it is being emulsified. So this is the second piece, it is almost emulsified. Whenever I don't have to emulsify anything, the foot switch is in irrigation or irrigation and aspiration mode. This is the third nuclear piece, it is almost emulsified. Yes, it is done. And now the final piece. At this time you can come down to FECO on mode or you can decrease the vacuum and flow rate to a great extent. Though in this case I didn't do that, I'm still in FECO 2 mode, vacuum 450, flow rate 45. And this is the last beat of the nucleus and it is almost done. Yes. In this case I supported the posterior capsule with the chopper.
and now I have to clean this cortex I have made only one sideboard my idea is to use a 23G Simco cannula to clean the cortex most of the cortex can be removed through the main incision there is visco in the anterior chamber so the anterior chamber is very nicely formed and at this time most of the cortex has come out and now I go through the side board and remove the rest of the cortex and it is done in this case we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. Let us observe hydro implantation. I am enlarging the main incision a bit because I am going to use a B cartridge. And here it is the lens goes into the anterior chamber into the capsular bag both the haptics goes both the haptics go into the capsular bag and now it is done in this case the optic will not be overlapped by the capsule because the rexis is larger than the optics optical part of the intraocular lens and but the haptics are in the bag and the lens is nicely centered this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber both the capsular bag and the anterior chamber is washed very nicely the anterior chamber is formed the integrity of the wounds are checked yes there is no leakage of any fluid from any wound moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention note that this hard cataract has been done in less than 8 minutes and it is a totally unedited recording when you become a competent surgeon it is possible to do this be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence